ICER is the principal sponsor of this seminar and I extend a hearty welcome to Dr. Ayappan as the principal sponsor of this seminar. Let me take this opportunity to welcome Dr. D. Ramarao Garu, the Director, National Academy for Agricultural Research Management. He is the real host of this seminar. He has put at our disposal all the facilities from A to Z to facilitate the conduct of this seminar. Let me take this occasion to welcome all the registered delegates and staff members from agricultural universities and ICAR research institutes who have evinced great interest and supported us in this seminar. And also we have some former participants who will be joining us very shortly and I take this occasion to welcome them also. Now may I request uh, Professor uh, Siddiq sir to just speak about the theme of the seminar and to give an overall idea of what the seminar is all about. The stand that we have to sustain the farmers to his traditional source of livelihood farming. This stand assumes a lot of relevance in the wake of uh, very shocking uh, revelations from two important survey reports on the farmers in various parts of the country. And uh, this report is uh, really very shocking to know that uh, in the last 10-15 years, the farmers, particularly small and marginal farmers, have entered into the labor market because the small farmers do not find any more agriculture very rewarding professionally and also satisfying, I mean, socially. So they have gone into the labor market, nearly 30% of them gone into the labor market. And good morning to all the dignitaries on the dais and off the dais. I think uh, this is one of the rarest uh, meeting. A lot of, uh, you know, the whole hall is uh, filled with uh, all learned uh, scientists. So individually, everyone has contributed a lot while they were in service. And, uh, and you know, it's like uh, their commitment for the farmer, commitment for the nation drives uh, establishment of association of uh, retired ICR employees. And the kind of uh, interest they have shown in conduct of workshop, in organizing the things, it is uh, unbelievable. Uh, people who are doing business with agricultural products, people who are marketing agricultural products are uh, becoming very rich and many, many, many people, they want to join this. But on the other side, uh, the inputs, you know, like we were mentioning, the cost of seed, the cost of fertilizer, the cost of pesticide, everything has become uh, very expensive, input cost is increasing. And farmer, because he has uh, no other uh, livelihood, he has no other livelihood, uh, he, he somehow wants to, earlier days, you know, his life was not very complicated. So even if there is a one season failure, society was taking care, you know, there were uh, other social, uh, um, you know, systems on which he was dependent. But today all those systems have vanished. And... Uh, and he wants to somehow do agriculture. So he will take money, he will take loan and uh, banks are giving but that money is not sufficient. He is going to open market, borrowing at higher rate, taking money at the end if there is a monsoon failure, he just left uh, with nothing. So we are looking to you sirs and madams that if you have time, please give us and we can go amidst the farmers and farmers suicides can be averted many a time just being with them so all those things but what the farmer want is on the at the end of the day to start with something quality inputs at the right time seed fertilizer whatever we recommend right time he gets one thing he doesn't get the other so this kind of thing then through the process whatever stress management that we need to do and finally market so if we can enable that that's where we are looking to recarrier and association like this wherever you are wherever we are located can we spend some time can you give some time other mechanisms will be in place facilitation will be done just to go see a person like you if you go and stand in the field absolutely 
hundreds of farmers will listen to you. Then listening to you know people who are just raw, they won't because you are known in the field. So that's where we are requesting. I'm sure Rikaria will put in a mechanism, and to whatever extent possible, we would also try to uh, facilitate that process. We are indeed very proud to co-host this program in association with Rikaria because this particular thing, the topic of the seminar that is integrated farming systems. This is perhaps one window to address the problems that are being faced by the Indian agriculture across the country. As Director General also mentioned that we have more than 300 farming systems model developed and much more are coming from our institute at Modipura. Now number of these models are tested and especially these are available to the medium and small farmers and this possibly is the solution to the country. Now when Dr. Prasad Garu and the Raikaria members came, we said let's do this because this is the one area where we have seen the number of farming systems also when ICR is documenting them. They use simple technologies known to us, particularly tested for a little over a decade. Then they integrate them together. The risk to the farmer is minimized. Now that's the most important thing. This is perhaps the solution for the country to look forward and I wish that this today meet here, various scientists working at as well as retired will deliberate on that and come forward and also as Director General repeatedly mentioned that the retired persons are an important resource. You have perhaps much better reach in the society into the farmers and also on the policy advocacy to take this issue. And in the present point of time, and the changing scenarios, particularly looking at the global environmental change and the way our economy is changing, particularly because the profitability is on the decline for the farmers. And to make agriculture more profitable and more economically viable as well as more socially acceptable, we feel that the very topic on which the Rikaria has organized this particular event is really very topical. Uh, as a mark of uh, our respect and gratitude to the dignitaries and the dais, we would like to present uh, mementos on behalf of the organizers. Uh, may I now request uh, Dr. M. V. R. Prasad to present a memento to Dr. Ayyappan, the Director General ICR. And Dr. Ramarav uh, Saltu. Sir, please give a memento to Madam uh, Usharani. Both can be done simultaneously. Simultaneously. <laughs> 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 Dr. Ramarav to give it to Mrs. Usharani. Yeah. And uh, may I request Dr. K. Murli Dharan, sir, to come and give it to Dr. Siddiq. First and foremost, it is our beloved and honored Director General, Dr. Ayyappan, who came forward to deliver the key address, keynote address. Despite his busy schedule, he gave us time and encouragement to conduct the seminar successfully. We are also grateful to the ICR for sponsoring the seminar with a liberal, liberal grant of funds. We ever remain grateful to you, sir, for all the uh, facilities and encouragement you have provided to Rikaria. The Rikaria is also grateful to Mrs. Usharani IAS for chairing this session. Her interest in agriculture enabled us to obtain her encouragement for this seminar. She is very busy person and we are sincerely acknowledging her passion for agriculture and her support to Rikaria. This seminar would not have been a reality but for the vision and encouragement of Dr. Padmasri, Dr. E.A. Siddiqui Saab. He was the founder president of Rikaria. Due to his uh, untiring efforts, the retired employees are getting a lot of benefits now. 